Here's Victoria and Anthony with an AMI This Week shortcut. And we may have a future blind equestrian in our midst. Ottawa presenter Shelby Travers is back at Brooks and Farms for more horseback riding lessons. Ah yes, we previously got a sneak peek and now we get to experience the whole lesson right along with Shelby. I think Shelby is a horse person as well as a dog person. Let's check it out. I'm back at Brooks and Farm for my riding lesson with Shannon Cardillo. So this is your horse for today. Her name is Rue. Rue is a paint, meaning she's got um, multiple colors. They can have up to three colors. Rue yeah. has two, uh, so she's black and white. Beginners, we typically ask them to come 10 to 15 minutes before their lesson just to get introduced to the horse. We take that time to teach them about brushing their horse and um, the steps involved in tacking up your horse with all the equipment required. And then once they're ready to go into the ring, the horse is ready, we get them to walk one lap around the arena in hand with the horse. It's a good lesson in learning how to walk on the ground with your horse. And this gives her the chance to see what's happening in the arena before we're on her back. Does this also help with her kind of like figuring out whoever's going to be riding her? Yes, exactly. So it gives her that time on the ground to become familiar with her rider. Right. One lap around the arena and I'm ready to get into the saddle. So you're going to hold the reins in your left hand. Yeah. yeah. A little bit tighter, so just gather them up. Now you're going to step to the right. I'm going to bring the mounting block behind you. Okay. We're going to turn all the way. A little way, bit further to the right. Straight. Yeah, perfect. Now. You're gonna let go of this for a second, I've got her. We're gonna walk up the three steps. One, two, three. Perfect, so find the saddle, find the end. Okay. That's the front end, perfect. This foot is gonna come in the stirrup. Left foot. Yep. And then on three, you're going to bring your right leg around. Right. Okay. You can grab onto her mane here as well. The horses don't have any feeling in their mane, it's like our nails. One, One two, two, three. three. Oh. There. Good. So the first thing we're going to start to learn is how to walk and stop. First, I need, think I need to halt for a second and take my jacket <laughs> off because it's a little I'm, warm in here. <laughs> I'm getting quite warm. All right, so I'll hold your reins. Okay. You can drop them and you just take off your jacket and pass it to me. So we're going to ask Gru to walk. Off. To tell her to walk, you're just going to give her a little squeeze with both of your heels. Okay. Judge how much of a squeeze you need. When it's enough, she will start walking. Great. That wasn't good. Yeah, she's pretty sensitive to what we want her to do. We're going to walk her straight. Okay. Great. There's so much to think about. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then to stop, we're going to shift our weight back in the saddle, roll okay. back onto your tailbone, a little further to the top, and then apply a little pressure with your hand. Good girl. Perfect. You can give her a little pat, tell her good girl. Good girl. And then we're going to ask her to walk on again, a little squeeze with our Leg, walk on. a little softer hand. So we don't want to pull when we're asking her to walk forward. The pull is the stop. Walk on. Okay, and forward. And then I want you to start to shift your weight back again. Roll back, make yourself heavy, squeeze and halt. Perfect. Good girl. And walk on. Rue and I keep walking in a straight line with Shannon holding the tether. Now is it on to trotting? Yeah, now we get to go a little faster. <laughs> Rue's <laughs> like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so. To be able to tell our horse to trot, we want to be pretty balanced in the saddle, yep. okay? It's similar aid to asking her to walk forward, mm -hmm. just a little bit more. So to ask her to walk forward, we squeezed our leg, our yep. calf, and a little heel. Yep. To trot, we're going to do the same thing, just a little bit more pressure, yep. and we're going to give her a little cluck. Yep. And here we go. A little cluck. And walk. Good girl. Very good. Give her a pat. Good girl. Good. All right. Let's try again. A little cluck. That was good. Yeah, very good. And walk. Super. Big pat. Good girl. So Shelby, how was the trot? The trot was really good. I think I'm learning everything as it goes on, and I think this stuff really takes time. Like. For this one, I started to get better with the trot, and I think it was more my comfort level yeah. on how much to squeeze on the horse. You definitely looked more balanced the last couple of times, and she got really quick on those uh, reaction times as well yeah. to what we were asking, right? Yeah. That was definitely some progress already. So I guess um, Why we, we keep try trotting. Trot? Yeah. yeah All right. Wow, Shelby really is a quick study. I know, she seems to master everything AMI throws at her, from cross-country skiing to horseback riding. I wonder what will be next.